Welcome to Guide for Customers to Help Their Partner with Troubleshooting. Hey, I'm Eric. And um, a question that I have received a lot of times is, what do I do? I think I, I haven't, there's an issue with my system. What, what, what can I do? And there's actually quite a few things you can do. And when I say you in this case, I mean you as a user, as a customer of Business Central. Uh, you might have a partner who will build a lot of stuff for you, or you might have some apps uh, running and so on. So what do you do to figure out what is going on? And um, that's what we're going to do in this video. So it's actually quite simple. So here is my business intro. Let me actually make it uh, so you can see what's going on. Something like this. And I have a problem. Somehow, whenever I post an invoice, it's it has become slower, and and you know the the more lines I have on an invoice, the longer it takes to 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 invoice, and uh, that seems not right. So I can uh, I can add an extra line to so this one: the Olympics in nineteen sixty. Wow, did you see that? There is a problem with this system. Let's see again if it actually works now. So sometimes when you do get an error, the best thing you can do is, is try to hit a five and see if uh, the error goes away at all. Um, let's try again. So the Olympics in 1960, an unerred and unexpected error occurred after the database command was canceled. This is weird. Okay, let's uh, let's see if we can if we can even if we can even post. Uh, but before we do that, okay. Wow. It seems this is not way more issues than I planned it to have. That's all. It's all good. Um, okay, let's see if we can post this invoice. Um, so if I but before I do that, I want to open a new tool. Which is not that new, but but um, it's a tool that will help you. So if I search search for profiler, I find there is a, a function called the performance profiler, and the performance profiler is, as the text even says, it troubleshoot slow operations. Um, and the first thing I do, I open it up here. And there's kind of two ways of, of operating this, and this is the, now I'll show you the preferred way. Uh, I will use the, the tear out function. So now we got the performance performance profiler sitting in its own window, and I have my sales order here, so ready to go. Um, and right now I'll just shoot this off onto another screen. Uh, no, actually, no, just keep it on this one. We'll have here and then we just have it in the background so i click start the minute i click start the second i click start business central will sample what is going on in your system uh, at an, an interval of a, of a few uh, few milliseconds so it will say okay what's happening what's happening what's happening what's happening what's happening and then it will actually build a a list for you uh, or your partner i'll show that at the end so as soon as we hit start, it starts sampling and say, what is going on? What is going on? What is going on? So I click this, it's running. I go back to this one and I hit F9 because I want to post. Uh, well, let's post uh, this one instead, apparently, because we added sort of a line on this one. We'll post this one. Working on it. There's clearly something going posting lines one and we're done. So I go back to the performance profiler and I hit stop. And let's make this bigger. So now we can see what is going on in my system. Um, we can see that clearly most of the time was spent in, uh, in the base app. So that is Microsoft. Then there's two seconds spent in the world's best app. Okay, um, there's a bit of time spent in the new app called subscription and reoccurring billing. There's a bit of time spent in exclude business events. 
and a bit of time spent in Business Foundation. So let me explain. This one is Base App. Base App is where the sales the sales model lives and the, the code and screens and all that good stuff. Subscription and billing, uh, subscription and recurring billing, subscription billing is a new app for Microsoft and PC25. I don't actually have subscription billing activated in, in this company, but apparently there's still code going on in that one. Uh, so maybe we want to uninstall that app if we're not using it. Exclude business events is an internal app from Microsoft. Uh, you cannot change any of that. Um, and Business Foundation is mostly like number series and stuff like that, uh, that Microsoft are slowly pulling out of base application. There could be other apps involved. It could be that we run again and we get a slightly different uh, picture. So, so the very low numbers here are not necessarily representative. There might be others because again, you know, it samples every uh, whatever interval the Microsoft decides their sampling rate should be. Uh, so if you have something that's very quick and runs between the samples, it will actually not be seen. Um, but the big buckets, they're good. So we can now dive deeper into this thing. If, if, if let's say that okay, instead of just handing it out to our partner, which we'll, I'll show you in a minute, we can instead, okay, let, let's see if we, we can investigate something. So I, uh, I click show technical information and then we get the bar graph shown as a pie chart. Uh, when it shows like this, this world's best app seems to spend a lot of time, right? Um, so that might be worth investigating. But we can do even better. We can go and say, okay, time spent in different things. So in this case, let's see if I can scroll the right way. We can see that the in different parts of the system, Dimension management, we spend 221 milliseconds working with dimensions. Yeah, that might be fair. We spend 218 milliseconds working with tax. Yeah, that might be okay, uh, and so on. But we spend two seconds in a function called test from that world's best app again. Uh, and uh, if we go even further down there, so the, the last option here is the call tree. The call tree will tell you what is, how, what, what, what has actually happened. So clearly we clicked post uh, the action on the sales order list. Uh, and that took five seconds. That calls into a post document, that calls into a, uh, there's a sell check and then we send to posting and we run sales post, yes, no. We run that, and then at some point we run sales post, and now we're actually into sales post. This is how developers are doing, right? There's so many layers to get to actually posting, uh, but now we are into posting, and we run posting. <laughs> and then lots of stuff happens here. So we can see that process posting, but we actually can't because that's behind my head. You know, I'm gonna move myself up in the other corner here. We can see that there's a lot of time spent in process posting. And process posting, let's see if we can get that uh, to object type. We don't need that much space for object type. Process post lines, post sales line, there's time spent there. Uh, on post sales line on after round amount. There's my procedure in test from world's best app again. So I think we have found, we have in three different ways located that there's a lot of time being spent in that world's best app thing. Uh, so we, we can see that, and we can see that this is per line. So clearly the more 
lines and invoices have, the more time is spent. Um, so if what we now need to do is figure out what is the world's best app. So if I just go back to this one for a second and I go into extension management, I go into extension management, come on business central, you can do this. Uh, and we have some interesting apps here. I'll click the TV just to get the list instead. Uh, and I'll scroll down to the... Hang on. Here the thing is. World's best app for by a sketchy developer. If, if that's your partner, make better choices. Um, so what can we do? Um, in this case, source code is actually available, so we could open up the source, but maybe we don't want to deal with that. So let's go back to this one and say download. I want to download this. So now what I get is a, a file that's called form profile underscore says 92.alcpu profile. And um, what do I do with that? Well, that you send to your developer. Assume that, that the, the sketchy one is, is the one you have. Um, so you take this file and you, uh, you send it off to, let me see what we can do here. So I will just behind the scene now pretend that this one is emailed to the developer. Um, so I take that and I find my downloads folder. This is happening off screen, I'm sorry. Uh, this was performance profile 92. Um, I will copy that into, where am I copying? So you send it off to the developer. The developer is now here. So here is the developer working on this thing. You can see that there is a um, let's see what we got here. There is a folder called snapshots. So if I now grab the file that was emailed to me and I put it in snapshots, then it will actually open inside VS Code. Uh, and the great update is that now I can do the exact same thing. I can, I can follow this and see, okay, where's the time spent? Time spent here. We can see the time is still spent here. I, I go through the, 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 the same thing that we went through inside Business Info. Uh, we go that, process, process, process line, post the line here. Hang on. So now we are in, in our code. So what can I do here? I can actually now click on this one as the developer. And it takes me to the source code. And we can see that in this case, I just added a two second delay in the code saying that that should happen every time we uh, post the sales line out so we have rounded the the uh, the amount by sending a file like this the, the, this was a circus uh, error here right but if you if you go and produce the profile you send it to developer this is a tremendous amount of help for them uh, this is the best way to give them information on what is going on um, and and you can always just open it so i'm gonna run it and then you're recording whatever is going on give that to your developer and i'm pretty sure unless you select that sketchy guy that just answered 
two second uh, pauses in your system. But if if reputable uh, partner, they will love if you just send them a profile and say, hey, this is weird. Uh, something is going on. Can you take a look? But also, if you are, are evaluating different apps from from App Source uh, and and you want to you want to see what is going on, uh, like do they this app have an impact on on posting an invoice for for instance? Uh, you can check it out with this. You can see what's going on. You can see what apps has an impact. I was I saw the uh, the here the the thing about subscription billing and so, so if you don't use that you might as well just turn it off and that will shave a quarter of a second of uh, posting time for invoices that spend on clearly doing nothing relevant for for your business so that's it that's how you help your developer troubleshooting uh, your system uh, if you are if you want to see some real ale hacking check out this video there's lots is going on in this one. I'll see you there. Take care. Bye.